Hi, this is Graham at Contender Bicycles in Salt Lake City and Park City, Utah. Today we're going to do a brief video on the SRAM Axis app, how to pair your Axis components to it, and then some of the features available to you through the app as far as customization and firmware updates are concerned. So obviously the first thing you'll need to do is download the SRAM Axis app from the App Store. The app is free, so once you get it downloaded, just open the app up. If it's the first time you've opened the app or used the app or you're new to the app, when the app loads, the first screen you'll see is a login screen where you can use existing Facebook or Google logins or you can create a new login associating it with an existing email. Once you log in, the screen, first screen you'll see uh, allows you to create a complete bike if you would like so that uh, you can pull those bikes up and customize each bike individually or you can just do a comp component by component if you only have one bike with SRAM access. Um, so to begin with, you can search for parts, press that button there um, and it will pull up another screen and it'll say searching for components. On this screen you can see that our cork power meter is already started up, already awake, so it's found that first. In order to wake up the rest of the components, um, we'll need to wake up the rear derailleur. You can do that by giving the bike a, sort of a sturdy vibration or you can just press the button on the derailleur and it pops up on the screen. Press the connect icon on the screen and it'll pull up another screen and it'll show you all the components that are paired with the rear derailleur. And then you can go through and customize your shifting options or go component by component and update uh, firmware. So you can see uh, below the access icon there, there is a settings button. If you press that, it'll pull up another screen where you can change your shift modes uh, and you can change how it uh, handles multi-shift when you press and hold either of the shift paddles. Um, going back, if you go down component by component on the rear derailleur, you can see here that the firmware is up to date. You'll see here that those other components are grayed out. That's uh, because they've gone to sleep. Um, in order to wake them up, just press the function button. As soon as you press it there, you'll see that it uh, becomes ungrayed on the screen. You can select that component. Uh, it will connect to it and tell you uh, whether or not you need a firmware update. Um, all of the firmware on here is up to date. Uh, you can see down at the bottom that you can add all of these components to the bike if you would uh, like. You can keep those all the same. And then you can also go through and configure your uh, front shifting controls, your rear shifting controls, um, and how they uh, affect the derailleurs that they're paired to. So hopefully this gives you a general idea of the features available to you through the Axis app. If you have any questions for us, give us a call at 801-364-0344 or send us an email to info at contenderbicycles.com. Be sure to check out our website and thanks for watching.